Hi, I'm Mike from Conference Technologies. Today's episode of CTI Tips is all about the Euroblock connector. Let's get started. The European Block Connector, otherwise known as the Euroblock Connector, is uh, usually called the Phoenix Connector. No, 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 not that Phoenix. From the Phoenix Connector Company. The Euroblock Connector is a terminal block style connection commonly used in audiovisual products. They come in various sizes for small to large gauge wire and can come in from anywhere from 2 to 24 terminals. Come in all different kinds of colors, sizes, uh, different clamping methods from screw downs to even clamping ones like this but they all do the same thing, and that's just make an electrical connection. These are used in all different types of connections. In AV, they're typically found for audio, control, and low voltage power. Two of the most common problems that we see with these out in the field is either we have shorts between two or more of the conductors that would not make a connection at all, or it just looks bad. So let's fix that and go demonstrate how to make one of these connections. First step is to make sure that all our screws are turned as far counterclockwise as they will go. You see the elevator in there goes down. This is where our wire will eventually get crimped into. Next thing we need to do is prepare our cable. We want to strip the outside jacket. Then do the same thing for our inner wires. Strip them back. The end goal here for our wire is to go all the way to the back of the connector with just a little bit of metal exposed. If we expose too much metal, it'll create a short and we don't want to cross the streams there that's bad. We will slide this heat shrink over there and then this piece of heat shrink around the whole wire. We won't heat it up quite yet. Next we need to insert our wires into here. You'll need to verify the connections on the connector. These can vary from device to device, manufacturer to manufacturer. Here we go from plus, minus, and ground from left to right. So we'll do red, black, and then our ground. Tighten up our screws. You see, you have just a little bit of metals exposed, but they're not actually, they won't short together. And we'll slide up our heat shrink and then go ahead and shrink this up. Now all I have to do is put this back into the connector. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Hope you learned something. If you have any more suggestions for things we can do, put them in the comments below please remember to click like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next episode.